All right, everybody, we're back with a brand new Cabral concept. Excited to be here with you today on the show. Of course, I'm going to bring you two brand new research studies. I want to make sure I get you these in a timely fashion because if you have elderly parents or grandparents, you will not want to miss the quick tip here that I'll be sharing with you. A brand new book. It just came out last week. I got my copy right when it debuted. We'll be talking about this brand new book by Dr. Walter Longo. And then also uh, what I've been using now as part of of my sauna base sessions, but you can use it even right before you get into the shower each morning. An amazing thing to do for that lymphatic system might take you two to three minutes maximum of your day, but worth it for sure. But before we get into all of that here today, I want to do a quick podcast recap. If you missed it on Monday, our Mindset and Motivation Monday show was how to win even when you feel like you're losing in life. This is an important one because no matter who you are, you're going to go through the ups and downs and the ebbs and flows of life. You have to know how to reframe things when you're at one of those low points. It won't last forever, and this will help you get through it even faster. On Tuesday's show was, could CFO be the cause of your bloating and gas? That's an important one. We always hear about SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, but could CFO actually be the real cause of your bloating and gas? Check out that show. On Wednesday, we went over how healthy is your body roundness index score, a score that's been around now for about a decade, which isn't too long in the overall health and fitness-based realm, uh, but one that's being talked a lot about a lot more. And I think it's actually worth checking out. I give you a free calculator to figure out your BRI instead of BMI uh, on that show. That was episode 3302. And then yesterday's show, 3303, was the forgotten form of magnesium, a form that we use in our practice and have been using now for at least a decade, uh, getting our clients excellent results with this form that goes well beyond magnesium glycinate and three and eight and a few of the other forms. Definitely check out that show. That was episode 3304 or sorry, 3303. For all shows, head on over to stephencabral.com slash podcast, easy search bar. You can check there for any topic, any show you're looking for. All right. Today, if you want the links, which we're going to link up the book review, the product review, and the two two research studies, head on over to stephencabral.com slash 3304. Let's dive in now to today's show. First things first, I want to go over the product review of the week. Super simple. You can see it right here if you're watching on video. This is a copper dry brush. I've talked about this for a little bit now, but I wanted to do a full front review. Um, All sorts of different dry brushes that you can use. My recommendation is that you use one that's going to stand up to being able to use it every day for months at a time. Uh, One that's antimicrobial, one that is gentle on the skin, that it's natural, and that it only needs to be able to move the lymphatic system or press down on the skin a couple of millimeters. So that's all that you need to do when you're doing manual lymph drainage. So if you haven't heard of manual lymph drainage before, basically you have far more volume of lymph fluid in your body than you do even blood. And you really want it to all flow down and up towards the heart. So the legs are going to come up and everything from the arms is going to come in. And that's a simplified version. I can link up another show on all the benefits of manual lymph drainage. I'll do that episode at episode 3304 today. But really, you want to move the lymph to the lymph nodes. The nodes are going to clean anything that needs to be clean, viruses, pathogens, etc. And then it's going to be able to move through the body up through the left part of the upper chest and then down and all the toxins are going to drain out of the body as the liver and other systems systems begin to move it out. It's one of the most complex, but also most beautiful ways that the human body detoxifies itself on a daily basis. And it's extremely important because without it, we get we begin to build up more inflammation, uh, poor absorption, we uh, uh, accumulate more edema, so the body holds more water, we look more puffy. It's just a great thing to be able to help our bodies with because unlike blood flow, Lymph needs to be moved on a manual basis. So we need to be up walking around. We need to be exercising, doing plyometrics, jumping a little bit. Or the nice thing is you can simply do manual drainage with your own hand or even better with a dry brush. So 
This dry brush right here, you can see in the middle, if you're watching this again on video, those are where the copper bristles lie. One of the nice things about copper specifically with the dry brush is that there is and can be some electron transfer, so it's potentially negative ions, which is great for the body to be able to absorb. It is antimicrobial, so it's not going to allow for a lot of the bacteria on the skin to be passed from brush back to skin, uh, and this is going to hold up for months at a time. So that's the nice thing about uh, dry brushing and copper dry brushing in general moves the lymph very safely, very effectively, and it is antimicrobial. Uh, these are things that we love to be able to get our clients over at Equal Life. If you've never heard one before, I will link it up here today at stephencabral.com slash 3304. But again, takes two to three minutes. I'll also link up a free podcast on how to do that manual lymph drainage. And I talk about it inside of my book, The Rain Barrel Effect. So definitely check out a copper dry brush if you've never done one before or used it before for can't recommend it enough. All right, next up, we're going to get to our book review of the week, and that is Fasting Cancer. So I've talked about Dr. Walter Longo before. He wrote a book called The Longevity Diet. That was a bunch of years back, at least five years ago, I believe. And his latest book is called Fasting Cancer, and it is a continuation of the longevity diet, now with a lot more years of research and clinical trials. So my job is to summarize it for you. And if you want to read in depth and go in depth, I invite you to do that. I'll also be doing a specific podcast on his longevity diet, I believe next Tuesday. Well, within the next two weeks. But, you know, without going through the whole book, the whole book's what, about 250 pages or so? Definitely worth the read. There's no doubt about that. So what Dr. Uh, Walter Longo looked at in his PhD-based research and beyond is that if you fast a human for five days, there is tremendous benefit if done before chemotherapy or on cancer cells versus even chemotherapy itself. So the results are essentially as good as chemotherapy, um, but you have to, you know, you'd have to keep doing it, or it is twice as good when combined with chemotherapy. So I've talked about this on the Cabral concept multiple times. I have it on my um, free cancer page, which is at stephencabral.com slash cancer. I'll link that up here today as well. But essentially what you do is you're going to do two days and you don't have to water fast. So it's a fasting mimicking diet. So it's a five day fasting mimicking diet. And it's essentially what I've worked it out to be, because this is the easiest way to do it for people. And I've tried it myself is three cups of vegetables, three times a day. So call it 8 a.m., noon, and 5 p.m. You have three cups of veggies that are just baked. You can cook them however you want, but you don't want to cook them in any oil or any fat. And then you add on exactly one tablespoon of olive oil at each meal. So, because it's 400 calories basically from veggies and it's 400 calories from olive oil or healthy monounsaturated fats like avocado. I just made it super simple. You can do it however you want and, and Dr. Longo allows for you to do that. But I found it just to be really easy to do mixed veggies three times a day. Um, and with one of those being a salad, just to kind of spice things up a little bit. And then one tablespoon of olive oil for your fat. And that comes out to be a maximum of 800 calories per day. All right, well, here's the interesting thing. When combined with two days before you do that diet, then chemo uh, in the middle day, the third day, and then two days after, that's the festive mimicking diet. They're basically doubling the results of chemotherapy alone. So it was like absolutely impressive. And here's the reason why. It was essentially causing healthy cells to go into hibernation a couple days before chemo. You instituted the chemo, the cancer cells can't go into hibernation. They were then most targeted by the chemotherapy. And then, um, so you got the best results. And then two days later, you came off the fasting mimicking diet. And the results really were remarkable. So those were in mainly mice-based studies. And um, then they moved to human clinical trials and they were getting the same results. So it's, it, it is remarkable. It's great results. And now this book uh, further moves on to that research and saying, okay, well, even healthy people, if they want, um, once to up to 12 times a year, so like once a month or um you know, let's just say once a quarter, if you wanted to, you could do your own fasting mimicking diet, and then you'll follow it up by what he calls his longevity diet. And I'll get in depth on next Tuesday's show about that. But that's, that's essentially it. So it is, um, it's straightforward and it works. And I've just tried to make it as easy as possible to implement because that's my job. My job is to take um, great research that's out there from all forms of medicine, truly integrative health, and then make it easy to apply. And so what we use it, basically, we do a version of that with our uh, in, with our every 12-week 
functional medicine detox. It is three days of a much deeper dive than the fasting mimicking diet, not all five, but three days. And we find that to be really, really great. And then on a weekly basis, um, at least three to four uh, Mondays per month, or it could be any day you want, you could do the one day reset diet, which is also a great way to dive deeper into autophagy. So a lot of great takeaways from the fasting cancer book. Um, I think Dr. Walter Longo's research is um, excellent. And so I like to just share the best of the best. Like I said, let me just confirm right now. I believe it's going to be next Tuesday. Yes, next Tuesday, I'll be doing the longevity diet, how to incorporate the fasting mimicking diet, plus what he recommends on an ongoing everyday day basis for nutrition to live up to 40% longer, which is um, a re really the research that he looked at. So hopefully that was helpful. That is called the fasting, uh, that's called fasting cancer. Uh, subtitle, How Fasting and Nutri-Technology Are Creating a Revolution in Cancer Prevention and Treatment. So there we go. And like I said, I'll link that up here today. All right, let's go over the research for the week. We've got one on depression and beta blockers, and we have a second on a specific mineral that's so easy to get, but yet so many individuals are uh, low in it, and then the elderly are the most susceptible to, unfortunately, getting quite ill. All right, so let's go over it. First things first, this is out of uh, Upasla, or um, sorry, Uppsala University. I've actually never heard of that university, so that's on me. Apologies. It's U-P-P-S-A-L-A -A University, and I will link up the specific research for you here today. So I'll take you right over to the study if you want to go deeper. But here's what I found. People that have had a heart attack but are not in heart failure have a higher risk of developing depression when taking a beta blocker. Now, keep in mind, beta blockers are given also not just for heart attack survivors, but they're actually given for people with um, higher blood pressure as well in many cases. So think of all the people with high blood pressure, like one out of three older adults um, can have higher blood pressure. So beta, blocks, beta blockers block the effect of adrenaline on the heart and have been used for decades as a basic treatment for all heart attack patients. But new research shows that people without heart failure do not benefit from these drugs. And also, it can lead to deeper levels of depression. The reason why I wanted to share this with you is because it's crazy. But I saw this in my practice going back to like right around 2007, like 2006, 2007, as I knew enough about functional medicine, integrative health to really keep an eye on it with my clients, even though they were nutrition, strength and conditioning, personal training clients, even though I wasn't in the realm yet of essentially working specifically with functional medicine labs that came a couple of years later. But uh, I was seeing these cases. And so I was seeing individuals who were on beta blockers. And honestly, they felt terrible. They felt terrible during exercise. They felt like they had brain fog. They just didn't have the energy because basically you're taking a drug that limits you from getting excited. Like essentially, like it's just like, it just dampens your emotions. You are not able, like I am right now to get in a more excited state. You, you are, it is literally blocking the heart rate from being elevated to too high a degree. And although there can be benefit, I, again, I totally get it. My approach would say, and this is what I did even back then, can we begin to wean down that dosage, working with your medical doctor, of course? Can we use nutrition, anti-inflammatory nutrition plans and exercise in order to be able to wean you off of these? That was always my goal with clients. And then, of course, as I started to really use functional medicine at home lab testing and look for underlying root causes like high levels of heavy metals like mercury or aluminum um, or deficiencies in methyl donors like methylfolate or methylcobalamin, trimethylglycine, I started to then add those into their plans. And lo and behold, that is what changed everything. So anyway. I wanted to share that with you because if you're on beta blockers right now, or you know someone that is, and they are kind of leaning more towards a depression-based state, uh, keep in mind, there's always an answer. And if you're able to lower your blood pressure naturally and or lower certain heart-based issues you may have, you might be able to wean yourself down enough where it makes a tremendous difference or eventually work with your specialist to um, come off that medication. So again, can't provide any medical treatment plans, medical cures, medical diagnosis, uh, but uh, always look for the underlying root cause because these medications over time can lead to some serious uh, emotional and health-based blocks. All right. 
This next one, simple, straightforward out of Vanderbilt University. Uh, nearly 20% of the world's population is at risk for zinc deficiency, which can impair the immune function and is a major risk factor for pneumonia. The World Health Organization considers de zinc deficiency a leading contributor to disease and death. You have to keep in mind, this is around the world, and that's minimum number. That's like most conservative number. We heard about this a lot during um, COVID and, and the pandemic that if you were low on zinc, you were more susceptible to a poor health outcome if you got this virus. Well, it's still true to today. It's just not as mainstream anymore. It's why we know quercetin and all these other things work so well. It's also because those things are also zinc cofactors to drive zinc into the cells where it can help to destroy uh, and dismantle viruses as well. So now we're looking at a specific bacteria, which is one cause of pneumonia, and those that are more deficient in zinc, um, especially the elderly, were at the highest risk for infection. And again, how much zinc do you need? It's not a lot. It's literally the amount that would be in a daily activated multi or daily nutritional support to get you 100% of the RDA. And then you could take one extra small capsule with dinner of something like um, balanced zinc or FM zinc, which is what I recommend for almost all individuals in my practice. But of course, we run the minerals and metals test just to test to see if there's zinc levels. And, and that gives them the, the dose that they need. So that's the most refined way to do it. But for most adults to get 15 to 30 or so, maybe 40 grams of zinc per day, milligrams, apologies, milligrams of zinc per day, uh, is going to be the best outcome, especially during the winter months. So as we start to move towards, towards let's call it October, November, December, and January, February, March, at least those six months of the year, you should always be taking your daily nutritional support or daily activated multivitamin. Choose your favorite company, totally up to you. But for those six months, it is wise to increase your zinc. Again, I can't give you medical advice. Uh, run the minerals and metals test if you want. You'll be able to find out your level and then take it for at least those six months. And if you want to come off for the other six months of the year, except for what's in your daily activated multi, no problem at all. But it is a, it's a wise decision for most people because a simple, small, inexpensive dose of zinc can go a long way, especially for your parents or grandparents that are at the most risk for uh, really a detrimental outcome from pneumonia. So just wanted to bring that to you. Again, public service announcements, these things can't be shared enough because the media will always tell you, oh, you don't need nutritional supplements, you don't need your vitamins, you don't need your minerals. It, trust me, you do. It doesn't have to be expensive. Uh, you can go with a good third-party tested GMP functional medicine brand, and you're gonna be able to get the nutrients that not only just you know, keep you above baseline, but give you the energy and vitality really that you're looking for. So I can't link up any of those up on today's show, but you can always find uh, what we use in our practice at stephencabral.com slash shop. Just look at the ingredients, search Balance Zinc or search FM Zinc or search Daily Activated Multivitamin. Um, and again, you don't have to use the brand that we recommend with Equalife, but you can at least see what we use and then you can decide, okay, let me choose the brand that, that works best for me. All right, everybody, hopefully today's show was helpful. All the links I can link up, like the Copper Dry Brush or the Fasting Cancer Book or so much more will be at stephencabral.com slash 3304. And I will be back tomorrow like I am each and every weekend answering our Cabral House calls. Take care, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.